everybody, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Sarah. And this is Another Beer, Beer Please. Well, we had a real fun experience visiting a bar. Well, not a bar, it's a brewery. Right. And they have a tap house. They had one originally on Chinden, and they just opened one downtown Boise, Idaho. And it was quite the experience. It was such a fun experience. Um, we got to try a lot of beers that I never would have tried before. And mm -hmm. the bartender actually, she made me like, a sour and an IPA, which is something I've never done. Yeah, she was having <laughs> us try a little bit of everything. Yes, shout out to Jamie, the bar manager at Barbarian Brewing. They are phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So many different beers to choose from. And I tell you, we're, de we're definitely going to be back talking about IPAs with them. Definitely. Uh, the brewer likes to play with botanicals in a lot of his beers. And bitters as well. Yeah, the bitters in the IPA. That wow. was really good. That was really good. Yeah, we are not IPA fans, but everything she was... Well, there was one I wasn't a huge fan of, but everything else they were throwing at us, it was just like, yes, 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 keep it coming. I want to try it all. So I'm looking forward to a brewery visit with Barbarian Brewing. Here's their cool patch. I had to get one while we were there. Yeah. Love their logo. Actually, I just love Idaho Brewer logos. Mm -hmm. They all represent the outdoors. They all represent, you know, what's great about Idaho. Right. So that's pretty cool, and I just had to have a patch. I didn't get a hat. I'm not a hat guy. Well, not a baseball cap guy. Anyway, so what we're having today is, now, i got to be honest, one of the first things that brought me to Barbarian last year was a friend told me they had this amazing Belgian triple. Mm -hmm. And it was amazing. But, Sarah, you're not a big fan of I'm Belgians. I'm not. Uh, I think I stated before in a couple videos that I don't really care for Belgians because I don't really, I don't like the taste. It's not my kind of taste. Um, but, you know, I, I give beers props for taste and hops and um, malts and stuff. So that's, that's one way I look at beers. If I don't like them, I'll, I'll know why people like them. Sure. But I just won't. Right. And, you know, the Belgians are very complex. They have, mm -hmm. they have fruity notes in them that a yeah. lot of people get knocked off. And yeah. cardamom and banana and, and plum. For and, me, I think it's like the unfiltered taste. Right. Because I don't like that. I yeah, like the Belgian filtered. yeast definitely gives you a different flavor than your typical beer. Right. And so we were really surprised. We had to share this with you. It's springtime, so it's time for us to move into lighter beers. We're going to get away from the darks and the stouts, at least for a while. Um, but this is Odin's Table Beer. That's why I'm dressed like this Odin, you know, and I've got my drinking horn, and I'm really, I'm not really going to drink out of that. I like to put my beer down on the table every now and then, and horns aren't really good for that. You can get holders for them, so yeah, go for it. But uh, we did the Scald last week, the, um, you know, the Swedish, the Mad Swede, <laughs> and so it just kind of felt like a natural thing to move into Odin's Table Beer. And they bill this as a light Belgian. Right. And I am not a fan of light beers. When I see the word light, I hear added too much water. <laughs> not enough flavor. But that's not the case here. No, this is actually um, quite a good introduction Belgian. Um, mm. I actually don't mind this one, and which surprised me. And the first time, you're like, you want to try it? Like, eh, I'll try it. But it's actually pretty drinkable. It is very drinkable. It's very surprising. We have a lot of those conversations. Try it, and then she yeah. does, and things just get better and better. <laughs> so this is Odin's table beer. So when you first, now the head set a little bit. We poured these very aggressively. Now you cannot get Barbarian in too many grocery stores or anything like that. They do bottle some of their beers, and fascinating enough, enough fascinating enough. I would speak English now. They will can your favorite beer right there in the brewery for you. Right in front of you. I think we're going to have to uh, get one of those and show you guys. Yeah. That's it's... very cool. Like, where, why do you go to a brewery to get a different experience than you would to a bar, but when you go to a brewery that cans right in front of you, that's pretty neat. That's kind of cool. Like, that's, that's really cool. You get your own custom six-pack, and prices yeah. vary depending on the beer you're getting and all that. Just like prices vary on the different beers you try. Mm -hmm. But the downtown tap house has 25 taps. Yeah. And that yeah. is an impressive outlay of beer. It's great beer. So let's get down to Odin's Table Beer. Mm -hmm. First of all, you are going to smell that bready quality mm -hmm. of the yeast, of the 
Belgian style brewing. So it's almost going to have that wheat beer-esque kind of aroma to it. It does. But there's a sweetness there and a complexity that you just don't get with your average beers. Mmm. So the whole pro... Uh, I was going to say the whole process, but the whole um, experience drinking this, at least for me, I just get hit with the, um, the light notes and the nuttiness. Mm-hmm. Um, did she... Do you remember what nut is in here? Is it like just hazelnut? No, I don't remember the nut. Okay. Well, it's okay. But I do remember the taste <laughs> of the beer. Right. And this does have a quality of a wheat beer to it. It... It is a clear beer. It's a little hazy, but not like you expect from an unfiltered wheat beer or an right. unfiltered Belgian beer or an unfiltered beer at all. It has a nice crispness, crispness to it. It is still dry on the finish. It is. It is. But it's very low on IBUs. It's only 15 IBUs. Is it? I thought it was lower than that. No, this no, one is 15. 15. But they do have beers of Barbarian that are zero, zero. IBUs because the brewer, instead of hops, uses botanicals and creates some very interesting beers. Now this, I have to admit, I'm a huge Belgian fan. Mm. He is. <laughs> I really love the dark, strong Belgian ales. I drink a lot of those. And this is a wonderful introduction to Belgians for people. If you've got a friend who's like, oh, I don't like Belgians, oh, I don't like wheat beers, oh, it's too yeasty, uh, <laughs> Make them try Odin's Table Beer. This is really drinkable. This is, yeah. And the fact that summer's coming, this is probably going to be a regular beer for us. Mm-hmm. Yep, we're going to have to keep a growler in the car so whenever we can, we can swing by Barbarian, fill it up. Their prices are very reasonable mm -hmm. on the growlers. People are incredibly friendly. The bartenders are very well educated in beer, and they take a great deal of pride in helping you explore beers. Mm -hmm. Now, you can get a large taster for a couple of bucks, right. you know, and try a few things, or they'll just give you this little plastic thumb, thumbnail, not thumb, thumbnail. Uh, thimble? Thimble. A thimble full of beer so you can at least give it a try. And we tried some really interesting beers. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, she even started bringing us some little uh, thimbles of just beers when... Yeah. And we were just talking, and she's like, oh, try this, oh, try, try this, try this. So we're definitely like, going to have to make Barbarian probably a special or something. We're going to have to go through a lot of their beers. Yeah, it's I, really think, great. I think our brewery visit to Barbarian is pretty much going to be us sitting at the bar trying flight after flight of beer. <laughs> it's going to be a great day. Oh, I'm looking <laughs> forward to that. Now, it does have IBUs, so you are going to get that dry finish. Um, now, some people... When you say dry, you know, what the heck does that mean? Suddenly sand? Can, no, it doesn't mean that. It means there's a crisp, slight bitterness to the end of mm -hmm. the flavor of the beer. Now, I enjoy that when it's well balanced with the other flavors because it means the beer doesn't just linger on it. I have had some stouts, and you know I'm a stout fan, where I've had to have a sip of water between each drink of beer because it doesn't linger so long. Right. Right. Uh. Burp like a Viking. Yeah! And that's so much fun about barbarian brewery. Hey, we could be barbarians. I should be like naked with swords and paint and. Okay, maybe not. But. Oh, you know, she loves that look. Should have seen our wedding. No. <laughs> but you're going to really like this beer because. The quality of the Belgian to it, the, the complexity of the flavors is all very, very subtle. So yeah, it really is. Yeah, you're getting a chance to try something new without getting overpowered and scared away by it. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone told me I don't like Belgians, the last thing I would give them is like a Golden Drock or the, the Nocturne from oh. Delirium. You uh, know, that actually kind of gives me a headache because I don't. I know. It's, yeah. it's not your kind of beer. And no. that's, we've said this from the very first review. We're not trying to tell you to drink a beer. We're just hoping to open your eyes to try new things. We share with you beers we love. And I love this beer. And it does have that breadiness to it that yes. I think, if you're a fan of wheat beers, you're going to enjoy this. Because it takes the wheat beer and then elevates it to just that touch of Belgian. Mm -hmm. So the Odin's Table Beer really has a nice, subtle quality to it but I taste a little bit of that sweetness. Mm -hmm. I taste a little bit of the fruit. I taste just a hint of the spices that go into a Belgian, and it's 
really easy drinking. It really is. And the fact that it's only 4.9% means that you can have a lot of this and still just enjoy the whole time you're drinking it without feeling hammered. hammered. Yeah, you don't want Thor's hammer coming down on you. <laughs> and I have to admit, I drink when I drink Belgian strong dark ales, whew, those are around 11%, yeah. 10%. But they're so tasty and they go down so we easily for me. By the end of the night, I Sarah, end up driving. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and sometimes she helps me walk. Yeah. It's just such a great beer. I love Belgians. And I this is like my new favorite sessionable beer. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I've had lots of great sessionable beers from local brewers. We've talked about them, you know, Sockeye's mm -hmm. Galena Gold, Powderhouse's House Beer, and on and on and on. There's a lot of great locally brewed, very sessionable ales that are smooth drinking, not too dry, not too hoppy, right. and they're wonderful. But this gives me a little touch of that Belgian mystique that I yeah. really like. Yeah, so I mean, good. if you love Belgians, but you want something a little smoother, a little lighter, this is perfect for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you remember when I was telling you in one of our first reviews, if you're going to taste beer, you don't sip it like a wine expert. You get a good mouthful in there. You work it around the tongue. You breathe through it. So you're experiencing the whole aroma profile and the whole taste profile. And that's when you find all the complexity that goes into a Belgian beer. This one is not as sweet as most Belgians I've had. And that makes it nice and easy to drink because you can have one and you haven't killed your sweet tooth. It's got just that little touch of bitterness at the back end of your throat mm -hmm. when you're drinking to make you know that there's some, you know, there's some IBUs in there, there's a little bit of bitterness, and that balances very nicely. It's got this lovely color. It's carbonated very nicely. It is. Um, we put our, um, our beer in our, um, what is that thing called? Growler. Uh, <laughs> We got our growler filled two days ago. Two, yeah, two days, two days ago. ago. And as you notice, folks, we were a little late because we had some food poisoning, and so that's not a good idea to drink and you know, have that at the same time. But uh, so we kept it in the fridge, and we use the type of growler that seals very tightly, not just the screw top ones. We've got a few of those, but to be honest, I like using the snap down sealable mm -hmm. Uh, growler because it keeps the carbonation, keeps the beer tasting fresh, and it lasts in the fridge for several days right. until you're ready to drink it. And so I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. Now, one thing you'll notice that you see the lacing of the beer along the glass. <laughs> what does that mean? That means that the glass is clean. Yeah. We clean our glasses. Please don't drink beer out of crappy, dirty glasses. That's just nope. wrong. Nope. If the if the head's not sticking to the glass, that's a, that's a dirty glass. That's a dirty glass. So, something to keep an eye out when you go out to the bars. If you see, well, first of all, please tell them to give you a good inch and a half of foam so you can enjoy the beer the way it was meant to be. And please make sure you get it clean glass so you can enjoy your beer. That's why, as much as I might goof around with this, I'm never going to drink out of this, you know, animal horn. Yes, they did it back in the past because they had no choice. And yes, they had a lifespan of 28 and they all died of <laughs> dysentery. Yeah. yeah. But get a good, nice, clean glass, pour a good head on Odin's table beer, and you're going to really enjoy it. I love this beer. It's very nice. Now, why is it important to have a clean glass? Probably wondering, like, why, why do I care about lacing? Well, it's because if you go to a bar and the head is not sticking to the glass and doesn't cause that lacing, that means there's that dish soap, some sediments, uh, dirty residue. water, residue that's going to be in your beer that's probably going to either cause you to be sick or it's just going to make the beer taste like crap. Yeah. So if you, you want to taste the beer. Yeah, if you don't see the lacing, ask for um, at least another beer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> or a clean glass. Now, I'm always polite in my brewery tastings, my brewery right. visits, my bar visits, and my restaurant visits, but I'm insistent on the things that I know are going to keep me healthy and help me enjoy my experience. Right. So I will tell bartenders flat out, not enough head on that, please add some more, and they'll just kind of go boosh, boosh. No, all you do is carbonate the top inch, pour the damn thing again, would you? I'll pay for another one. No, I wouldn't. Pour the beer right if you're going to pour a beer. Now, one thing that's cool about the Barbarian, their new um, 
uh, tasting room downtown, and it's a lovely tasting room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Room. Lots of room right down there on uh, the corner of 11th and Main. Yes. And it's got a little outdoor area to sit in, and they have live music every Tuesday night. And it's, I've, I've got to look this up. I couldn't remember the guy's name. Excuse I want to me. say Jake. Uh, that could be. But I the name know. of the band is the Sawtooth Serenaders. Shout out to you guys. You sounded great down there every Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Go and check that out. And you've got to be willing to explore. I mean, that's what we're really about. You know, we're sharing things we love, but you should just get out there and explore. You will find the things that you love about beer and different mm -hmm. beers. Because they poured me an IPA that I thought, no, I don't like IPAs. And then I tasted it. I was like, we liked it. It had Which was all, really, really weird. Yeah, it had all that resinous <laughs> yeah. hoppiness to the aroma, but the flavor was just crisp and clear and tasty. It's called Enigma. They call it an mm. East Coast style IPA, and it has raspberries and Pinot Gris juice in it, and it has a 70 IBU. Yeah. And so it's got that bitterness in it, but when you're tasting it, it's just like, poof, the bitterness goes away. You don't even taste the, the, the hops because I don't go past the 30 IBUs. Because Typically, I'm, no, me neither. Yeah, because I know from my experience that if I go over a certain amount of IBUs, I know I'm not going to like it just with how many times I've tried to like something that has, has higher IBUs. But this is our first beer, I swear. Bleh. <laughs> But um, no, this was 70, and I've never had that before, but I honestly didn't taste the hops. No, and there was... Which was beautiful. <laughs> there was a Cezanne that had rose water in it, another yeah. IPA that had... I think it was an IPA that had... Uh, might have been a sour that had rose hips in it. I mean, the, bar, the bartender was telling us about how much the brewer loves to play with botanicals. So if you want an evening of really interesting beer tasting and yeah. a very enjoyable beer tasting, because they had a great scotch ale, um, their seasonals they come out with and go away that I'm, I'm looking forward to trying. Yeah. I'm going to have to wait till winter time when we get back into the stouts. Stouts will often drift up towards 50 IBUs, but right. when they're done right, that means it just all works together. Yeah. So back to Odin's Table Beer. Easily drinkable, nice, subtle, Belgian style flavor with that hint of sweetness, that mm -hmm. hint of exoticness. That's what I like about Belgians. They have an exotic quality to them. They do. And if you have someone who does not like beer, they might actually like Belgians yeah. if their flavor tastes go that way. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, if you know someone who doesn't like beer, or Belgians, I'd be like, yeah, that's me. Yep. But, but she's enjoying the Odin's table. I really am. Yeah. And that's genuine. Not lying. Wow. I don't think you've ever finished a beer on camera before. Ah, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> and a 4.9%, you know, down the beer, I'm doing okay. Down a few more, I'm getting an Uber or a Lyft <laughs> or a designated driver or I'm hitchhiking or I'm lip crawling back from the bar. No, I haven't done that for a long time. <laughs> well, you know what it looks like. You're going to have to get another beer, please. <laughs> I really did enjoy going down to Barbarian Brewing. I'm that looking was a great forward experience. to it. Oh, going back is going to be great. And we're going to be doing a beer, a brewery visit there, get to try all their beers. I think that's going to be fun. 